Hi folks, Stambi Bank today is really pleased to partner with Muketi's program on 3x3 Skill Up Residency program. Uh, the whole intention is to identify that very successful, scalable, post-startup uh, firm that Stambi Bank can put our full force to back to scale up your business and also to find the right fixed capital to help with that scale up process. So I wish you all the very best and I know that we are going to create very successful tech companies based in Botswana for the rest of the world. Thank you very much. Well, it's very exciting to see all of this hard work that Botswana entrepreneurs have put in and also the work that they've done to sort of identify the climate, whether it's for startups on the digital side, whether it's financial, whether it's gaming, whether it's uh, work in agriculture. There's so many opportunities here and uh, we're really impressed about uh, the way they have come together to support this initiative, especially during Global Entrepreneurship Week. And we're excited uh, as the U.S. Embassy to work together with our partners in Botswana to really help amplify opportunities, to amplify opportunities to also share lessons learned along the way, and in the end, make a situation and work together to make that happen where entrepreneurs can really thrive and make their ideas thrive, but also then share that to the next set of entrepreneurs, the next generation of entrepreneurs, and see that moving forward. We're very excited, whether it's through the Young Africa Leaders Initiative or other things, uh, we're very excited to provide uh, you know, support, assistance and encouragement uh, that builds up a class of entrepreneurs here in Botswana and it's fantastic to see uh, that developing on its own but excited to join the, join the effort as well. Hello, my name is Richmond and I am the founder of Bank Division. That's a gamification company based in Habarone, Botswana. With scaling up with a company we'll be able to hire more developers, hire more creatives and uh, involve, the, involve the country basically in creating this cultural event. We're currently looking for investors to help the company purchase more equipment so that, to, so that we can build our game to become actually bigger and better. The 3x3 residency program helps Bantu Vision connect with potential investors and also provides us with uh, the residency where we can actually launch our game and meet our customers and actually do that peer-to-peer -peer, uh, customer review to see how customers are actually reacting to our product. They also help us out forge partnerships with like-minded developers so as we can build an even better and more creative game. My name is Bessie de I am the founder of Agrinect an agricultural tech company that uses artificial intelligence to connect farmers directly to their customers. During the COVID-19 pandemic, farmers lost millions of dollars in revenue as the restaurants and catering companies they relied on shut down. Our goal is to revive farmers' income, put affordable food on the tables of consumers, and to provide resources to agro-allied businesses. Through the Standard Bank 3x3x3 residency, we hope to connect with new customers, partners and investors to help us grow our startup and scale. From a company called Creative Insights, we focus on queues. We are the people that manage your queues. Uh, we, create, we create a solution that handles queues, makes appointments for banks, for government institutions, for, for, for doctor's offices and so on. Now, obviously, to expand to, uh, to, to, to the reach of Africa, or the reach of the world, we cannot be depending on the founder's pocket. We are now ready and opening ourselves to have to entertain angel investors, to entertain our uh, venture capitalists. But also, we are looking for strategic relationships with banks and people like this who can now use our solution. Because the more people use our solution, the more we are visible. That's why we are. Uh, right now with queues and that's the future that we're looking at is what we call queue management and service rolling out to the world and, and but for that we're going to need our own cloud you see 
the more you want to roll out, the more your cloud presence, the more your cloud footprint, the higher the cost. And therefore, and you also have to have support in regions. That's why we're looking for strategic partnerships, in, 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 in customer strategic partnerships with financials. That's where we are. Thank you. My name is Nomsa Makabenyana. I am the founder and COO of Siriti Insights, a tech startup that is based in Kaburone, Botswana. Our niche and our goal is to create tailor-made custom AI solutions to the enterprises and the companies we serve. Uh, Siriti Insights is an award-winning startup. In 2019-2020, we were finalists for Best Fintech for the Southern Africa Startup Awards. In the year 2021, we awarded Excellent Company by JICA uh, for a solution that we created uh, that solved the problem of misinformation and disinformation during the COVID pandemic. What we have done now with the solution is uh, scale it such that it is able to speak to brands and to marketing managers and to enterprises, particularly using data from social media and the power of AI to deliver brand insights. The unique aspect of this product is that it is able to learn Setswana. We have trained the AI model to learn Setswana and Kalanga and other Sona languages. And in scaling it and growing it, we anticipate that we'll be able to scale it to the rest of the continent, where it is able to learn other languages. So brand managers, marketing managers, organizations as a whole can leverage insights from the power of AI and learning languages that aren't necessarily English. Hi, my name is Umpongwenya. I am a community manager at LimeGig. Um, LimeGig is a website that is designed for freelancers. If you are a young Mutsuana, a young person out there who has the skills but don't have a job, you don't have to work a five to nine, you can always come to our website where we allow you to showcase your um, new techniques and what you're willing to do for us, right? So who are we targeting? Who are we looking for and why, right? First of all, we're looking for young people. Young people between the age of 18 and 35. If you're a freelancer out there, you don't have a job like I've already said, you can always put it on the net and that's where you can get your next job. So please um, check our Facebook page, Lime Gig, check our um, website, go into it, learn more about it. If you have questions, you can always drop in our comment sections, you can always ask us more questions on what we do. So yeah, in a nutshell, if you need a job, this is where to find us. Thank you. My name is Tuso Tusite, I'm the co-founder of Classmate. Um, Classmate is an online digital platform. Uh, Classmate, uh, the reason why we created Classmate was to actually improve uh, access to ed educational content uh, for students starting from uh, primary, uh, junior and senior secondary school. Uh, we've come out with a, pro a, a product uh, that is aimed at um, you know, taking, um, you know, breaking the wall between uh, a class and, uh, and when students are at home. Uh, we have seen from the advent of uh, COVID that uh, most of the schools uh, were closed across the world. And then having uh, come up with a product like this, uh, this is the market that we, we really want to, uh, to, 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 to target. Um, with 3x3x3, uh, three by three by three, um, in partnership with the Stambik, uh, from uh, where we started um, this uh, workshop, uh, we have seen there, there is a, a great opportunity. Um, we were able to meet uh, other partners, uh, and then obviously with, with Stambik and three by three by three, uh, we, we are looking at um, you know like seeing how they can be able to help up scale uh, in terms of. Um, you know, going out to other African markets because um, from the context of Botswana, I think we have already covered a lot of um, uh, ground. Hello, my name is Shine Chivia and I'm the founder and CEO of a startup called Ipachi Capital. Our flagship product is Ipachi Mobile Application. Now, the big question is, how big is the informal sector? Now, informal sector businesses or informal businesses are cri critical to the development of the economy. They generate a lot of job opportunities for others and are important in contribution of our GDP. 88.5% of small businesses are informal. This means that there are a lot of opportunities from the informal sector. Now, the budget mobile application is here. It has started and we want to change the future of banking. Thank you. My name is Moketi Benedict Tekere. I'm the co-founder of One Africa, which is Botswana's only pre-seed uh, startup accelerator. 
which runs a startup program, but also a micro fund, right? Our work predominantly is sector agnostic, so we work with entrepreneurs and startups in the sectors of agri-tech, clean tech, and fintech, right? So uh, we are so excited about working in the Botswana startup ecosystem and helping to bring ideas to life and empowering the next generation of entrepreneurs that are gonna build the next economy.